After being locked out of his Twitter account, the Deuce creator David Simon says he won't take back his comments after telling a user, you should die of a slow-moving venereal rash that settles in your lying throat. The truth is, I'm going to get back on and I'm going to basically say all the same things that I got thrown off, he told the audience during the politically-minded panel at ATX TV Festival on Saturday. I was saying to Jack Dorsey Twitter CEO, tweeting at Jack Dorsey the exact same language on the premise of telling someone they can drop dead is not harassment. I have no control over mortality of other human beings, I'm not doxing anybody. So I'm just going to say really, for your policies, you should drop dead. He continued, I'm going to use all the same language that got me banned and then I'll be banned again. I think it actually might be healthy for me. Just keep myself banned. On Friday, Simon, who created hit shows like The Wire and Dream, claimed on his website he was locked out of his account, though his see past tweets are still visible. I have been banned from Twitter, and as I am at this moment indifferent to removing the tweets they insist are violative of their rules, it is unclear when I will return to that framework, he wrote on his website. His post continued, Suffice to say that while you can arrive on Twitter and disseminate the untethered and anti-human opinion that mothers who have their children kidnapped and held and communicado from them at the American border are criminals, and both mother and child deserve that fate, or that 14-year-old boys who survived the Holocaust are guilty of betraying fellow Jews when there is no evidence of such, you cannot wish that the people who traffic in such vile shit should crawl off and die of a fulminant venereal rash. Slander is cool, brutality is acceptable. But the hyperbolic and comic hope that a just God might smite the slanderer or brutalizer with a deadly skin disorder is somehow beyond the pale. Twitter released a statement to EW on Friday saying, we cannot comment on specific accounts for privacy and security reasons, but it's against the Twitter rules to engage in the targeted harassment of someone, or incite other people to do so. We consider abusive behavior an attempt to harass, intimidate, or silence someone else's voice.